Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to make shoulder pauldrons and waist capes for your Lego clowns and stormtroopers. In the Star Wars universe, pauldrons and waist capes represent someone's rank and ability in battle. This can help you greatly diversify your Lego army. For example, if you have one of these regular stormtroopers, or, well, many of them, you can create some of them to be captains or lieutenants or other people like that so you can have commanders in your army. So, to build our pauldrons, the materials are very simple. You need markers or felt tips pens to color them in, scissors to cut them out, and a piece of paper with the printout. The printout you can find in the link in the description. But if you do not have a printer, you can always trace um, one of the pauldrons that you may have already, which is what we did to make this printout, and then you can cut it out carefully. So there are three types of armor that we will be showing you how to build in this video. First is a normal uh, waist cape, second is a one-shoulder pauldron, and third is a two-shoulder pauldron. There are many different designs you can do for these, as you can see up here. For the waist capes, you can do like stripes through the middle, camouflage, or a tiny color around the end. You can also do plain colors for all of them, which is the easiest, so we won't show you how to do that. Um, up here, you can see you can do these lines for the double pauldrons, which make them look really cool. Um, for the single pauldrons, you can also do the lines. But, and you can do this cool design, which has black around the outside, but then the color on the inside. This is a special one we made up ourselves, which is supposed to be for Grand Admiral Thrawn's troopers. The first step to building the pauldrons is to cut them out. So first, you're gonna want to cut a rough square around the um, pauldron. So then you cut all the way around the outside. Once you've cut out around all the edges of the pants and shoulder pauldrons, you then cut out the holes for the minifigure's heads. When you cut them, you're going to want to make sure that they are completely right so that they will fit a minifigure's neck after you cut each hole. Um, you're going to want to fold the hole and then carefully cut around it so that it fits. In this part, you must be very careful, otherwise it could get messed up. So after you've cut out all the holes on the pauldrons, you're going to want to choose a minifig. So we're going to get a stormtrooper from over here. First, let's test the leg armor. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just have to make sure it's not going to fit as smoothly as a normal Lego one. But as long as it goes around and it's not too small, you should be okay. Now let's test the uh, arm pauldron. Which one should we do first? Why don't we do the head one? Or one, single one. Okay. So... I guess that one looks like it works good. Now let's test the next one. Yep, all good. Nice. 
missing me. Okay, and the double pauldron works good. So now that you've got them all to work good, we're going to start coloring them. So now that you've checked that all your armor fits the people, you now color it in. So first we're going to color in the leg pauldrons. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do a, show you how to do a simple design, which just has a nice color around the outside and then black in the middle. This one's very easy to do. We have this one on Captain Rex. We'll see that at the end. And so yeah, we'll show you how to do that one. If you do want to build these other kinds of leg pauldrons, we'll um, show you pictures of them so you can just color it according to your eye. Okay, so we're just gonna do blue around the edge and then black in the middle. Make sure you have something behind it so that when you color, it does not get uh, marker stains on your tables or other things like that. So a piece of paper, cardboard is good. So you just do the blue line across the bottom and then Carefully go outside the blue line and don't color over the blue line because the black will go over the blue line and then you won't have any blue left. So you just go outside the blue line and then you'll color in the rest of it. So now you have your completed pauldron, which has blue on the outside and black on the inside. So we got a minifigure. Uh, why don't we put it on Captain Rex? And so let's put it on and see how he looks. So there's Captain Rex. Usually you want to color both sides the same way, but this is pretty good. So as you can see, it looks it looks really nice, just nice blue, like exactly like the movie. So there's a real picture of Captain Rex right next to him. And there he is, so he looks pretty good. We'll set him right here. Okay. There he is, Captain Rex. Okay, next we're gonna do a single pauldron style. So for this one, we're gonna show you how to build one of the ones where it's just black around the outside and then a color on the inside. Um, these are pretty simple to make. So first, what you want to do is the black. So right across there. So for the black, you just do a line across the top and then you color in the top things and then afterwards you just go around the edge of the outside of the rest of the pauldron. It's also good if you add a nice curve there as you can see it just makes it look a bit better. Okay. So now we'll color the inside. We're going to do um, a green color. So a nice light green. This one doesn't really matter if you draw over the black because the black will, it, you can't draw lighter colors over the black. So there, there's a nice pauldron. Wait. So you can also draw the lines across there to make one like this, which is the green one or our one for Captain Rex. So let's put this one on Captain Rex. Um, as you saw, you just don't draw the lines if you want the one like this, okay? This one we could put on the Horn Company Commander. Let's stick it on him. That would be kind of cool. 
Okay, so here's Captain Rex with his nice arm pauldron and his leg pauldron, just like the real one, as you can see right there. Okay, so here's the Horn Company Commander. It's kind of a interesting one. Looks okay. See him? Yeah, looks good. So let's stick him up there next to Captain Rex. Okay. I look good. Okay, and finally, we're gonna build a double pauldron one. So as you can see here, double pauldron ones are pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build one, like dark gray and one of one color. These are really good for ARC troopers. So um, we'll build a red one for one side, because this would be like a 501st ARC trooper, this one would be. Um, so we'll do red on this side and then gray on this side. And then it has the lines just like the other one did, which makes it um, look really cool. Like, just like a real ARC trooper, as you can see right there. Okay, so now let's start. Um, first, you start by drawing lines off so that you get just the um the edges as you can see there so draw those lines nice and good okay then you color in black everything in the middle of those lines so get that all nice and black okay so now you've got the black you're going to want to do an outline on each side of the black. So let's do that. It's This is a similar outline to the same kind of outline you did for the other one. Like that kind of one. Okay. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to want to color in the colors. First, we're going to do the gray. We've got nice felt tip to gray marker pen. We'll color in that one gray. Doesn't matter again. Usually, after you color in the black, it doesn't matter if you go over the black with the color, because the colors are going to be lighter than black. Next, what we'll do is we'll put the black lines over it. For this, you just go to the center and out, center and out. Yep, nice. Okay, and then the other side as well. Center and out, center and out. Okay, so that's our completed look. So you can see there. All right, nice and good. So we'll put this on the ARC trooper um, from the battle pack that it's from, as you can see there. Okay, so the ARC troop is actually from some red squadron, so that's why we did it red, because it makes it look better. And it's much better than just the plain red one that comes with the set, as you can see now. Okay, so here is the ARC trooper. See, he looks really cool with the pauldron. Okay, we're going to add one of our ones of these. So pretty much for those, you just um, carefully draw the lines, and they're not too hard to make. We'll show you some pictures after this. Okay, so let's put those on, and there's our ARC trooper. He looks pretty good. There. So let's stick him up here with Captain Rex and the Horn Company Commander. Right there. And there you go. So now we'll show you a bunch of different ideas of what you can make. 